Greetings, Tyson of the Northwest here, and I'm going to show you around my first three small plot builds on Ravend. Alright, the first one here is my step camp. Um, originally, I kind of just started off with this yurt design here. Let's go ahead and pop inside. It's pretty basic. You've got some supplies, you've got some bedding. I made this fire pit. I'm not a hundred percent satisfied with it but it'll do the job for the first sort of thing I use trap doors for the windows just because it's much easier to block out the nearby plot since I didn't actually build anything to screen that but yeah it's a pretty basic yurt design here um, over here I've got an area to kind of tie up trees or not trees, but tie up your horses and whatnot. Over here, we've got a dry riverbed. I was actually really happy with how this turned out. Um, I'm not exactly sure I like the blocked corners that the con uh, the Conquest Texture Pack uses, but um, it's pretty good. Um, time on. Let's go ahead and put this into some low light. There we go. Um, also, I built these acacia trees by scratch. Uh, they're not the notch trees, although they are definitely uh, in. They are within that theme. But yeah, so here it is. I tried to balance the build, but unfortunately, the yurt took up a huge amount of it. So I really tried to balance it with the um, dry riverbed and the trees here, trying to make it at least somewhat interesting. All right. On to my second plot. Oh uh, yeah, on to my second plot. Alright, so this is my desert townhouse. Uh, if I had a uh, desert or Arabic Middle Eastern sort of build, this is what I would have. Um, so here's the entryway. This leads into kind of a garden area. Uh, if I had more space, I would probably expand this about three or four blocks outward just to kind of give us a little more breathing room. This is very tight. Maybe add a fountain. Uh, more plants also. I really like how this tree turned out, especially with the very tight amount of space I had to work with. And here's a stove pipe that indicates that just inside this door, we've got a kitchen area. So I have a stove top here. It's got uh, some pressure plates that I used to kind of make the stove top design there and then some more pressure plates over here for like cutting surfaces and work surfaces. I like this sort of rack look. It almost looks like it's got like glasses or something in it. Um, and then up in here we have a pantry. Um, it's got a door that leads further up, but we'll deal with that later. Down the back here is the servant's entrance. If I was doing this as part of a larger build, I'd probably have like an alleyway down here with clutter in it and another building over right next to it, but we'll just keep going into here. And now into the basement here which is a bedroom and you'll notice I'm gonna make it a little bit darker here there we go that should draw make it night outside is it all the way night or just, yep it's night excellent you'll notice that the only visible light source here is the redstone torches here which normally don't give off any light what I did is behind this painting, I put some glowstone blocks to uh, provide the light for the room. And it really looks like, with the positioning, it looks like it's coming from the torches. And then I have this inset bookshelf here. I'm not exactly sure I like that. I may shift it around. I'm not 100% satisfied with how that turned out. Um, and then back up here through the pantry... And we're on to the first balcony. Now you can see the entryway down there. If, like I said, had more room, this would be overlooking the garden area. And then as we come around here, we've got a second balcony. And this one would kind of look down the street. Be able to see all the other buildings. And then in here, we've got this sort of office area. Bookshelves, desk, and another one of the redstone torches. This room is a lot dimmer but uh, but I think it works. Um, and then here's kind of the dining room slash meeting room. You've got a couple of mats here where you'd sit and talk and 
you know, play chess or take notes sort of thing. So that's kind of what I was going for in this room. Kind of a general purpose guest visiting room plus uh, work room so, or dining room. So now here we go. Let's do a quick flyover here. You'll notice that this one is much better balanced. There's not any color that really dominates the plot um, it really broken up by the cobblestone lines here the two the the two, two different roof materials the acacia wood there and then down here i really like the acacia wood half slabs it gives it a really nice tiled look that i really enjoyed all right and then my last plot in the small plot zone the witch's hut this one I was the first one that I really uh, oriented to the warp point. So when you you know warp into this section here, it will give you this opening here, and it really frames the hut. I really built a lot of this foliage around it to really enclose, but direct the eye at the hut. I, obviously, it's a witch's hut with the uh, kind of the face and the witch's hat. Uh, we're going to hop down over here. We've got a swamp, uh, a couple of, you know, it's a living swamp. It's not, you know, it's got flies and mushrooms and flowers and, you know, shade flowers sort of thing. In here we have the main room. Uh, we have some firewood for the furnace here, a shelf with our brewing stand, kind of our workspace over here. Um, I put the... the uh, smoke hood, this upside down stuff to kind of make a smoke hood over the furnace here and kind of give you what looks to be a little bit of a small stove top area. You'd probably be able to fit like a small pan or something in there, nothing big. And then of course we've got a stove pi a metal stove pipe going up. Um, more supplies, your Eye of Newton, all that sort of fun stuff and a couple of books. If we head up to the top floor, more supplies again. Uh, what looks to be a redstone torch is the lighting here, which is actually coming from the furnace. A nice little bed window that peeks out into the front again, and to the you know the the, the walk-in, and again a stovepipe going up. If I pull back out, you'll notice the you know hint of uh, f smoke coming from there. And I'm going to do a quick spin around. You'll notice that a, this one is a lot more dominated by this foliage here, but I really kind of had to do it to get the eye to follow the lines that I wanted to do and kind of poke out through um, to the uh, to the jack-o'-lantern here. Um, I would really, if the warpin was a little bit more oriented, I would really have liked it to be able to kind of shoot up there, and if I was had control of my own plot and the own control of the warp and I would totally do that the path would lead right up and you'd shoot over and just see the you know the moon at sunset or the moon set or moonrise but yeah those are my three starting plots I hope you enjoyed this tour around them I was very happy with them um, if you have any suggestions on anything else to do on them I'd love to hear them put them in the comments below and then next time since these plots earned me builder I will look at our larger plots, and I can kind of show you what I'm doing there. I've already got one mostly done, but I'd love to hear your comments on these ones. Um, rate, you know, thumbs up, put comments, whatever. Anyway, I will talk to you all later. Have a great day.